Hello and welcome to another Ridiculously Ben tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering unlimited sound alerts. There is a lot of different ways to get sound alerts on your stream, but a lot of them have limitations or are overcomplicated to use. I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way to go ahead and get a sound alert going. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a sound file. You could either download one of your favorite files or you could make your own, like I made my own here. Oh yeah. My choice of audio editor would be Audacity. It's free, it gives you a bunch of effects, a bunch of noise canceling things. I didn't do anything special with this audio clip, but just for an example, you could always download your own. The dangers of downloading your own is you could get DMCA or copyright things on your Twitch or whatever streaming service you're using. You could also get muted on Twitch as well as be non-monetized on YouTube if you use somebody else's work. But you know what, if it's all for the entertainment of your stream, you know, you do what you need to do. This is what I have experimented with. I primarily use Streamlabs. From what I've noticed, a lot of other bots or a lot of other platforms use pretty similar things. I'm not going to show you how to do it on Streamlabs, but overall, the regular commands are not going to do anything for you. What you would need to do is like a loyalty store item that would play a sound. And the problem is your chat would have to type exclamation point redeem and then the item that they want. And that's only if you want it to cost points. The problem with that is they have to type redeem. It's just inconvenient. Not a lot of people would use it. And this is just to make things entertaining, quick and fast. Uh, another option would be media share, which is um, something that Streamlabs also offers. It allows you to play videos or audio on demand. The problem with this is it does cost money. So it requires that the, the person in your chat make a donation in order to play that audio file. We're not for that. Uh, that's not what this video is about. This video is about allowing free audio files for your chat to play around with. And so let's see, Twitch has an extension that's very popular that a lot of people use called Sound Alerts. Sound Alerts is nice, but the issue is it, if it's unpaid, they only allow you five Sound Alerts, which is pretty limiting. It's not it limits the fun so you want to make sure uh you know you have some some good options there of sound alerts but if you want to go beyond sound alerts this is what i have discovered i have discovered trigger fire for trigger fires go to the firewire.com and log in with your twitch and it has many different options it has images that could be triggered videos that could be triggered sound alerts that could be triggered. I guess they have their own OBS. I haven't played with that quite yet in groups. So what we're gonna do is gonna click on sound. And by the way, this is 100% free. So trigger fire is 100% free, unless you wanna truly unlimit yourself and just go wild with sound alerts that you could provide your, your stream. So click on create. And it's as simple as this. So it already puts the exclamation point in it. And then uh, I'm just going to put yeah. Put all yeah. You click this. It could be a reward. So you could set it up for a reward. But uh, we're just going to make it a normal trigger. Just a regular command. So it's not going to cost any points the way I have it set up. You can set cooldowns. Global cooldown. You can set the level of who could use it. The subscriber. It, it just it gets pretty intricate there. So I just put it on everybody uh, because we want everyone to enjoy it, right? Select sound, upload the sound, and you're gonna find the file. There we go, and we got the file there. We could preview it. Oh yeah. And you hit this little blue checkbox. And you have it there. Push save. Now it's ready to go. So next we have whatever you're using for your broadcast. I personally use Streamlabs OBS. So we're going to have to go ahead and click this here. And that's a link to your audio file. Now, if you have a lot of audio files that you want to do, I would suggest putting those in first and then clicking the link because otherwise you're going to have to update every single time in your, in your platform. So I only have this audio file. I'm just going to go ahead and click here. It's going to give me a link to copy. Go ahead and copy that link. And we're going to go to our OBS. 
and we're going to add this as a source. So click on the plus here and we're going to add it as a browser source, add source, add a new source. So yeah, oh, we'll make it a sound alert. There we go. Sound alert as source. I'm going to copy and paste the link that the trigger fire provided you and click done. Now the sizing and everything doesn't really matter because you are just playing a sound file. It's not loading an image or anything like that. Click done and you're all set. It should be there. So now uh, next thing to do is just test it out. So you could do that in Streamlabs by clicking here on this little arrow, depending on how you have your chat set up. So next thing you're gonna do is you just type in the command. So I typed it in as yeah, exclamation point yeah, and let's try it out. Oh yeah. There you go. So now every time somebody types that, uh, depending on the cooldown, it's gonna play that audio file. Now it's not gonna show up in the stream, and I'll show you right now. Yeah, we'll go ahead and see what it looks like visually. I don't believe it shows anything, so it's just gonna be an audio file. Oh yeah. And there you have it. So again, this is pretty unlimited. It's free, um, and then it, you know if you want more, you can pay for the service. But I, I, they give you a certain amount of space that you could use. I doubt you're gonna run out of space unless you have a whole lot of video and audio files. But what I would suggest is if you are gonna put audio files in there, MP3s have a good sound quality and compression rate. Uh, so I'd suggest making MP3 files, even if they are just standard things that you'd be saying. There's also different websites you could use to convert waves to, to MP3s. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You got it saved. And that's the end of my tutorial. I hope it helped. Uh, if this has helped you out, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. No obligations, but it definitely would help me out too.